Welcome to Adventech IoT Academy. Adventech's remote I.O. modules, add-on series, have been used by the industry for over 30 years. Today, our topic is Graphic Condition Logic, GCL, which is very often used in Adventech's Ethernet I.O. add-on 6000, 6200 modules, enabling the I.O. to perform some logic control without the need of PLC and complicated programming ability. Today, we will invite our two experts, Yinlun and Karen, to introduce the benefits of GCL and demonstrate how to realize GCL projects. So, let's welcome them. Hello everyone, I'm Yinlun, the Product Manager of Aiden Modules. I'm Karen, the Application Engineer of Aiden Modules. Normally, to set up an automatic control process, a controller and a programming skills are needed. Luckily, by using Advantech Ethernet Remote I.O. module, Aiden 6000 and 6200 series, we don't need to have a PLC or become a programmer to activate switches or alarms for a simple control process. In this video, we will introduce GCL, its benefit, and how GCL function can help you set up control process for eff more efficiently. In the second part of the video, we will demonstrate the basic settings of GCL functions. After this video, you will know how to create your own basic module to control atom module with GCL functions. And you can even start to apply it in real-life situations. GCL stands for Graphic Condition Logic. The function enables user to execute sample logic to easily control I.O. modules with visual graphic settings. Generally, users need a PLC and programming to control automatic process. First, remote I.O. modules receive data from sensors, then PLC executing the program. Finally, PLC settings come in to remote I.O. to activate switches or alarms. However, Aiden 6000 and 6200 I.O. module can serve as a controller to perform logic control and replace PLC programming, save the cost of buying PLCs and the time saved in programming. Through so GCO function, the whole setting process will be speed up and simplified. To better understand how Aiden GCO function can be applied, let's look at these two cases. A vehicle detection system is very convenient for people who want to find a parking space. Once the car occupies a parking space, triggered vehicle detection sensors will send input signals to add an I.O. module. With GCO, we can easily create control logic by using a graphic interface and send output signal to turn on the red light. In the second case, the control process of automatic spray alcohol dispenser can also be set up by GCL. The sensor on the dispenser detects hands and send input signal to Adam. After waiting 3 seconds, Adam will send output signal to the dispenser to activate the spraying function. Let's dig in to find out more what GCL is. GCL serves as a straightforward programming controller in Advantech Ethernet Remote I.O. Aiden 6000 and 6200 series. A key feature of GCL is for everyone to be able to use it. You don't need to write code, like in the picture. With a simple setting, you can control the I.O. module. Besides, with the graphic user interface, it's easy to check the flow. The graphic flow in GCL is composed of four stages, including input condition stage, logic stage, execution stage, output stage. First, input condition means a logic condition decision based on the input data. It can be logic true or false. Second, logic. There are four types of logic gate, N, O, None. No. Third, execution. You can choose the execution period starting from one minute second. Fourth, output stage. There are few output types you can choose. Let's set the all to true to turn on the light or send message. 
users can cascade up to 16 rules in each module, and the logic rules in GCO can be applied to different modules. It is also very easy to monitor the running process and test the function in utility. Hey, Yinglun, what if there are many modules that need to be set up? It is a good question. GCL project can be exported or imported as a file, so you can set up different modules by importing the GCL project file. It sounds like GCL function is very useful and convenient. So, what are the logic control functions in GCL? There are many functions in GCL, such as timer, is to set up a local timer to start or delay logic flow, counter is to count the pulse numbers of digital signal. Message means remote message output. Aux flag stands for local or remote flag status setting. So now we have the basic understanding of the GCL and the power of it. We will start to demonstrate how to set up the GCL function through Adam Software Utility. Hi, I'm Karen. I will show you three examples about GCL function. Here is the GCL configuration page in Utility. After clicking Add 6050 GCL icon and enter the password for going to GCL edit page. The step of GCL function setting shows here. First, click Program button. Second, click Row 1 to edit. Third, click Enable row to enable your setting. Fourth, edit input, logic gate, execute, and output configuration stage. Now let's get started with the first example. We use Adam 6050 for example. We want to achieve the function when digital input channel 1 gets logic low, then the digital output channel 3 will get logic high after 3 seconds. In the logic rule 1, we will select the DI channel 1 as input condition, and the condition needs to be false to trigger rule 1. The logic gate, we select N gate and execute 100 million seconds, then trigger the timer 1 to do the on delay. In the logic rule 2, we set the timer 1 as input condition. After timer 1 start counting, when the value equals and bigger than 3 seconds, it will trigger the DO1. The output true action is turned on when receiving logic true. After setting the rules, we could download the GCL rules to Adam and run GCL project. When we show the DI channel 1 by dry contact, the DI channel 1 will get logic low and we could see the timer 1 is counting in row 2. It will trigger DO1 after 3 seconds. The yellow dot indicating which execution stage where GCL is reaching. We could open the second utility to check the result of GCL. This is the first example with the simple testing to learn the GCL function. After finishing the first example, let's see the second one of logic row cascade. Here we took Adam 6017 for testing. Similar to the previous example, we want to achieve the function in the picture. In the Adam 6017, if either one of two AI channels, for example AI0 and AI1, reading the voltage between the range of 3 volts to 5 volts, the DO0 will be triggered into logic high. Here is the GCL rule to set in utility. Both rules are set in local input module, which is Adam 6017 here. In the rule 1, set AI0 equal or bigger than value 3, and equal or smaller than value 5 as the input condition. As the output condition, we set the aux flag 0 as true. In the row 2, similar as 0, 1, we set AI1 equal or bigger than value 3, and equal or smaller than value 5 as the input condition. 
As the upper condition, we set the odd flag 1 as true. In the row 3, the input condition should be aux flag 0 and aux flag 1. When either aux flag 0 or aux flag 1 gets true, it will trigger the output condition DO0 into logic high. Then download the GCL rows to Atom and run GCL project. After giving AI0 4 volts, the DO0 trigger into logic high. It is the same when we give 4 volts either AI0 or AI1. The DO0 will be triggered into logic high. Again, we could open the second utility to check the result of GCL. After these two examples with Atom module, now we are going to show you how to export and import the GCL file in utility, and other function which will make the GCL programming more flexible. In the GCL project content on the right side, you could see the setting of the rule, and also you could export the GCL file after programming, or import the GCL file if you need. And the other function which could help you to monitor the GCL running process is the monitor function. After finishing the programming, when you run the GCL program with the monitor function, you could check the input condition status. For example, here show the AI channel value. The above is the GCL function demonstration. Hope it is helpful for you to get familiar with Atom GCL function. Thanks for Yin Lun and Karen for introducing the concept of GCL and demonstrating how to execute GCL projects. For more technical training courses, we welcome you to log in Advantech IoT Academy. Free registration, you can enjoy so many free online courses. See you next time.